Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about staying on track after a setback part three. In this video, I'm going to, going to be reviewing with you some of the ideas that I use to keep myself on track. Planning and preparation are big components to staying on track. And it's basically has to do with having a commitment to oneself about getting healthy and staying healthy. How many of you been on a diet and lost the weight, but then to only gain it back later on at another point in time? And generally that's because we go back to our old ways and our old habits. And so how do you stay on track with that? Well, basically the first thing that I wanna share is staying on track has to do with making a commitment to oneself. Uh, for over 30 years having struggles with my weight and how I deal with it is by, I actually go to O-Readers Anonymous, which is helpful to me. And it may not be for everybody, but at least I can share with you that's my experience. And being prepared and planning what I'm going to be doing day to day. Once you have a routine with it, it becomes second nature. I don't really have to think about it. So things like making sure I need what I have in the house. For example, I eat eggs, a lot of eggs um, for breakfast seven days a week. So I make sure I have dozens of eggs, two dozen at least at a time. And also the vegetables that I use, food plan, and as well as my protein. So, you know, when I see that I'm running low, I make a list and get to the store. I don't wait till I run out of stuff because I don't want to leave my food plan up to somebody else. I don't want to have to get takeout and I don't know what's in the food. Although I'm not saying don't go out to eat or don't have takeout. There's a time and a place for that. But in my routine, I plan and prepare my foods in advance, which is, it's really not that big of a deal. They say it takes 30 days to develop a habit. And we've developed pretty bad habits over the years, haven't we? And going into a store today, if you went into any store, any grocery store right now and walked in, generally you'll find you'll be hit in the face with sodas, sugar laden sodas, snack foods, as soon as you walk through. I mean, with the exception of one store that I can honestly say, and I, this isn't, I'm not putting a pitch out for Whole Foods, but when you walk into Whole Foods, at least my Whole Foods locally, there's, you're hit with fruits and vegetables right when you walk in. So um, maybe they're very conscious of it and maybe our other grocery stores are conscious of the fact that the United States and all of our people are pretty addicted to sugar and snack foods. Planning and preparing our food grocery list. I like to have a general idea of what I'm gonna be doing in terms of my exercise for the week. And lately, I just had a medical procedure and I'm coming up on two months on that. So I'm almost to the point where I'm not 100% on my exercise routines, but I'm pretty close to it. And I'm back at the gym three to five days a week, which is something that I'm really dedicated to. And if you're not an exerciser, any exercise at all is really important, no matter what your age is. I'm really glad to be here and hoping that these videos are helping someone out there. And if you find this helpful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and share the video with someone else. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and thank you for stopping by. Over and out. Ciao for now, and I'll see you in the next one.